settings and videos. Um, in this video, I'm, I'm going to show you real quick how to set up a sub theme of Zen because I really think that that's the most efficient way to uh, bend Zen into what you want it to do. So, first thing obviously that we need to do is go to drupal.org slash project slash Zen and scroll down and download the Drupal 6 version. Um, I already have it downloaded here. It goes into inside your Drupal install. You're looking for your sites all. And if you haven't already created your modules and theme folder, go ahead and create those. Then inside your themes, uh, that's where you want to save your Zen theme. And let's unzip it. And within this Zen theme, I'm going to copy this starter kit right out here next to the Zen theme. And the starter kit is already pre-configured to set Zen up as its base theme, so it makes it easy for us to set up a sub-theme, and I'm just going to call this the sample theme. And while we're in here, I'm going to change this starter kit info file into sample.info, and I'm going to duplicate this reference. I'm going to call that sample as well. Um, one thing to realize that this Drupal reference is really just set up for your own reference. Uh, it's not really meant to be used. I'm going to open it up and remove all the content so that I can start fresh on my theme. Um, a couple more things that we need to pull over is the page.tpo.php file. And there's also a uh, fixed um, width style sheet that I'm going to pull in as well. So I'll open the Zen folder again and within the Zen folder inside your Zen folder. Um, here's a number of stuff that you can just start pulling into your theme as you need it. You only want to pull what you need and what you're actually going to be changing. So let's copy this page.tpo fold file. And the other one I was going to be looking for was this layout-fixed because the theme that I'm going to be creating is a fixed width and just, this just makes it really easy to get that started. All right, now we're going to open the sample file in, uh, I'm going to open it up in Coda. Um, we're just going to start searching for any instance of the starter kit and replace it with sample since that's the name of my theme. So um, let's go ahead and replace it. I'll go through this info file real quick um, after we get this set up. But for now, we're just going to be replacing all these. And here, I'm just going to replace all of them. I found like 10 different ones. Save that. And here, let's replace all of them as well. And save that. So in essence, right here, we have our sample theme. Uh, the one last thing I'm going to do real quick before uh, anything else is, is just gut out this style sheet. And you can just, you know, create a style sheet from scratch if you want without worrying about all this stuff. But so that's just kind of how I do it. Okay, now, now that we have our sub theme, uh, we can go to our Drupal install and go to administer and click on our themes. And notice we have two Zen Themer starter kits here. And this is where I'm going to walk through our info file with you and show you exactly what these, what the, the calls do. So uh, first is the name. We're going to change the name to a sample theme. And if I save that and refresh this page right now, uh, we will see it just jump up here. So it shows you how efficiently that, that change works. I'm just going to call it a sub-theme of Zen, if I can spell. And once again, if I save and refresh, you'll see that show up as the description. <coughs> Scrolling on down, uh, the core tells them what version of Drupal it uses. 
and this base theme tells them that uh, Zen is the base theme for this theme. Uh, down below it goes through all of the style sheets that you want to include with this file. Um, I'm going to edit this layout to do the layout-fixed so that it references the fixed style sheet that I copied over later, earlier. And it's already referencing the sample style sheet because I had searched for the starter kit and replaced that. So let's go ahead and save that. And while we're here on the admin page, I'm going to show you real quick how to change this thumbnail. Uh, it's pretty simple. You just replace the graphic. Uh, here's my mock-up for the theme. Zoom out a little bit. Let me adjust the size. I'm going to make it 150 pixels wide. OK, and then save it for the web as a PNG file. And then I'm just going to save it over the screenshot.png file that's within my sample theme. So here's my Drupal install sample theme. Save it, replace it, and I'm going to definitely undo that so I don't accidentally save over it. And now if I come back here and refresh, now there's a, a screenshot of it. So I'm going to go ahead and activate that and save it. And here's our base, base, base uh, Zen theme. We haven't made any different changes yet, so it's a fixed width Zen theme. Uh, another thing I'm going to show you is this blocks page under the administer site building blocks. Just to show you another part of that info file. So as we scroll down, you got your regions, left, right, navbar. Um, on the left side, if you put a dollar sign in front of this section right here, that's going to be the call in the php.template file. And just open that page.tpl.php. And let's just do a search for left. Actually, dollar sign left. Okay, so here's the call. This print dollar sign left means to print this left region and then the label for it is the left sidebar and where this left sidebar is is on this administer blocks page and this is where it finds this label right here it also shows it over here underneath the actual region so if I were to save change this to left area save it refresh at first you won't notice any differences but one thing to remember is in the site configuration you need to um, run a cache you gotta clear your cache so in the performance we're gonna scroll all the way down and clear cache data this is because it's it's deep in the theme section if it's just the style sheet that you're editing sometimes you don't have to do this but if you don't see changes take place right or right away uh, it's a good idea to, to clear your cache so uh, let me go back to administer site building and back to blocks and now it says left area as well as right here it says left area so that's how you manage your blocks in this area I'm just gonna change this back and resave it so here's our Zen sub theme. Uh, we went through the info file. Um, there's a few other things, some extra features and some settings. Most of this stuff I just leave it as is, and most of that's the reason why I use Zen is because of those functionalities. So in the next video, we will go over some of, some more of the uh, uh, theme setup configuration.